Hello beautiful souls, welcome back to Art of Awakening. My name is Ona and today I'm going to share with you a message uh, from the Akash about the energies of July. Um, really it was a really really brief message this time. One that I think is important because it's this is a super super powerful time it's between the summer solstice and the lion's gate and it's a time that i'm getting that we can really just connect with our inner truth our inner power and prepare for what's to come actually i'm going to share with you this message from 2018 first okay and this is Forgive me for being so personal. This really gets a little more personal than <laughs> than I normally would want. And I've just personally been through this journey that um, <laughs> really, really reclaimed my truth in a deep, deep way. And the reason I'm sharing is that this, uh, it, it feels like we're about to, as a collective, move into this space that I was personally three years ago, okay, where we've come through some difficult times and it feels like oh, things are finally better and we're starting to look up. But ahead of us is actually the biggest battle. And we may not even be quite aware of it, but some part of us is aware of that, okay? And, and um, when this came up on my Facebook feed as a memory from three years ago, this morning, I, I, I don't always go in and listen to those, but this one really compelled me. And I was like, oh my gosh, that is exactly where we're at right now. And then I looked down and at the end of this clip, she, the, the past me shares this little thing of Ganesh and I'm, I look down and I'm, I'm wearing this my Ganesh t-shirt here so I'm like okay this is really meant to be this is a message that needs to get out right now three years ago like I I had just been through a lot and I had no idea the depth of what I was about to go and go through but then with all that came this incredible transformation um, you know, I am foreseeing that for the collective, for all of us, right? For all of us, we're going to such a wonderful place. But there's some things that are going to be coming up that we are going to be collectively working through in the next year to few years, right? Especially this coming year is going to start breaking open a lot of stuff. And so this is why I'm sharing because that message that came through then in the summer of 2018 is... I, a lot of times I'm, I find that the messages that I'm given are pertinent like two, three years later, and this is this is the case, right, um, for this one. So I'm going to show you this first, and then I'm going to share the beautiful, beautiful message that the Akashic Guides gave me for July 2021. There's a certain power animal that came forward just now that I really wants me to to bring it out and call to your attention. Um, but that animal is vulture, and uh, here is what I feel is going on. Um, I personally and a lot of people that I know have been experiencing a lot of just <laughs> physical um issues like headaches and um it's like we've got bronchial infection just all sorts of stuff um you know accidents all sorts of stuff happening um just a lot of stuff and um this is this is where it's a time where the light is at its fullest and we're going to be moving in now to shorter days moving down the long downward slope towards winter Okay, so this is bringing up a couple of very basic spiritual principles, one of which is the law of rhythm, is that there's, there's going to be ups and downs. When, when we start bringing stuff to light, when healing starts to happen, it tends to flush up all sorts of stuff. And it's feeling like that is what's happening now. Um, so what Vulture 
really teaches uh, vulture really is associated with a purification and that is the ascension energy that's the ascension that we're feeling right now and when a purification happens like it does flush stuff out and um you know, that's why you may be experiencing some just whether it's in the mental plane just like you know issues with um it may be anger anger has been coming up with some of my clients um it it could be just feeling like i gotta get out of here <laughs> um or it could be the physical things happening it could be in the emotional you know whatever it is so um a lot of that stuff it's it's just when these energies come up it means that they are coming out of hiding and um that is this you know, coming out of stuff that they're losing their stuff, that means they're losing their power, okay? So part of the message here is to, you know, as things come up, accept them with gratitude, embrace them and say, you know, thank you for bringing this up because now I can clear it out. Now I can have my awareness on it. When I'm aware of it, then we can really work to, to get it flushed out, okay? So what... What vulture, and, and I want you to really keep this in mind over, not just now, not just in this period of time, but throughout the course of the coming year or so, there may be a lot of dark energies that come up. And it just keep in mind, it's good. It may, it may feel like, oh my God, this is not happening and we're slipping back and you know, things that, you know, the dark is prevailing. It's not, okay? It just means that it's got its back up. It's getting in a corner. It's going down, all right? And the thing to do is really hold faith that, you know, that, 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 that light does prevail, okay? Light is stronger than dark. And also unity consciousness, okay? The more we hold on to that, feeling of, you know, we are strong together, we're strong in spirit, and we are going to overcome this. So it's, um, it's okay, things, things will be okay. Um, all right, so something to consider also with vulture, it's a symbol of resurrection, it's a symbol of transcendence, transcendence. And one of the things that vulture teaches us to do um, this bird is always uh, like, you know, it's really, uh, a lot of people don't like vulture because it eats carrion and so forth, it's associated with death, but um, there's a beautiful myth that vulture is the one that brings the souls up to heaven. Okay, so things have to die, things have to, um, you know, be let go of, to, to be released, and, and sometimes to die before the new can come up. Okay, so that's what this is all about. And what Vulture teaches us to do, um, they will actually hold themselves to the sun. Very frequently you might see them, um, you know, up on the top of a barn or a tree, just holding their, their wings outspread like this. And what they're doing is they're literally holding themselves to the light. They're holding themselves to the sun. And what it does is it purifies, it helps them to you know, kill off the bacteria that have collected on their feathers and so forth. And it also warms them. But, uh, but a lot of it's about purification. And so it's just a reminder to daily and, and consistently, constantly hold yourself to the light. You know, keep the faith that things are, things are happening all in due course. They're happening in divine timing. You know, these things that are coming up that may be difficult, it may be very difficult, um, are coming up for a reason they're coming up to be addressed they're coming up to be seen they're coming up to be acknowledged they're coming up to be worked through and released and to welcome that to welcome that okay and to hold oneself to the light and 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 empower in numbers too okay um strength and unity so the more that we come together and hold ourselves to the light together the stronger it's going to be, the more powerful we are, and the faster it's going to flush everything out. Okay, so have oh one more thing. Um, I was connecting with uh, Ganesh. He's a <laughs> beautiful uh, Hindu deity. He is a remover of obstacles. And the message from Ganesh is to work with fire 
and to bring in, to call in the dragons. So I, I lit a little candle here in honor of solstice. I have my dragon lighter, that's what I lit it with. And so uh, moving forward, if you wanna make, um, light yourself a candle tonight or sometime this week, and just bring in dragon energy, you know, uh, do the breath of fire, look up breath of fire, you know, if you don't know what that is, look it up, but there's some good YouTube videos on that, practice that, it's really good for strengthening, because there may be some dark days ahead, they're just honestly, there may be some dark days ahead, but we've got light inside, we've got fire in our breath, and together, we're going to get through this. So keeping that in mind, let's come back to the now, with this message from the Akashic Guides for July 2021. This is a time of in-between, an anchoring and integrating of the energies of the summer solstice and preceding events. It is a time of ripening, of flowering, a time to soak in the light and enjoy good company. Allow yourself to experience fulfillment in every way that you can. Fill your tanks. Rest, sleep, soak in the sun, drink in the beauty of nature. Rejoice in the flowers, in the physical beauty of flowers. Take the time to notice them and praise them for not only their beauty, but their function in bringing forth new life. Let them teach you the ways of beauty, the role that beauty plays in abundance and evolution. Fill your soul with beauty and with gratitude to carry you through as summer nights lengthen into winter and we face the gathering storms. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Enjoy your July. Really get out there and just enjoy, enjoy nature if you can. It, just relax and have fun um, and stay tuned I'm going to be sharing within the next few weeks a video on the energies of the Lionsgate for this year as well as probably a couple of spirit animal videos definitely sloth and maybe one or two more as well so uh, if you haven't subscribed yet if you'd like to catch those hit that subscribe button and we'll catch you again soon